<laughs> Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the Silkworm Gang Fort Lookout Post in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were crafting this sweet ass platform and a few pimping ass bridges to connect the railway station to the fort mainland. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to be heading up to the fort itself to finish off a few more of the rooms, including the battle room and I think a chest room is what I'm thinking. So sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Now guys, since you were last with me, I have done a little bit of work around here. I fixed the roof problem. Uh, it was looking a bit like a mushroom and now I've, I've solved that mushroom problem and as you can see it now it now falls in line with the design of the railway station so that is looking pretty freaking sweet and uh, I have also added some vineage up in here too and these vines are gonna gonna grow and are gonna add some nice character to the outlook post over here and as you can see guys we just get such amazing views from up here man what a way to like come into the Silkum Gang Island fort man you get such epic views of your surroundings really really sweet I'm really happy with how this build is turning out and uh, I'm also glad to see that you guys are enjoying the build and um, yeah man thanks for all of the sweet ass comments and all of the sweet ass hints and tips you guys have been giving me and uh, man we're gonna make this freaking fort as sweet as it can possibly be but in this episode guys we're gonna be heading upstairs uh, mainly to those canopies over there those brand new canopies that we flattened out uh, ages ago and we're gonna start working on the rooms up there and you know while I was preparing for today's episode I got to thinking man and you know it's it's kind of crazy to think that number one we are at the end of season three and for me personally that means we are getting to the end of uh, almost 300 episodes of minecraft that i have created on youtube and uh man it is just absolutely crazy to think you know the time has gone by so freaking quickly that um i haven't even had a, a moment to sit back and think about it all but you know we we've gone we've gone up now to around eighty-five thousand subscribers on the rendog channel about almost 300 freaking minecraft survival episodes and uh uh, about 75 Minecraft, Minecraft Feed the Beast episodes as well as hundreds of other videos all of various uh, shapes and sizes. Um, I think the Rendog channel is now approaching like 700 videos or, or more I think. I oh, man I don't even know. All I know is we've made a ridiculous amount of videos on this channel and it has been an absolutely insane freaking journey man. It has been absolutely epic. Uh, sometimes I have to pinch myself to, to remember what the jazz is actually going on in my life. Um, but you know this whole thing has got me thinking a lot about basically my own life what has happened in the last uh, two years or so and you know it's kind of crazy to think that we started season three on Silkum Gang Island and we are about to end it on Silkum Gang Island too and uh, it's you know like when I think about what has happened in my life since I started working on this island so since the start of season three and now if I think about like what actually happened in my life it's it's pretty freaking crazy man and uh, for those of you guys who are maybe new subscribers you might not be totally familiar with what has what has occurred in my particular existence over the last 365 days and uh, all I can say is it has been a freaking crazy journey uh, one filled with happiness one filled with a lot of sadness and uh, one filled with a whole bunch of stair climbing man and uh, <laughs> and I in this episode guys I want to sort of look back at you know exactly what has happened in particularly particularly in my life over the last year or so and uh, while I'm talking about this guys I want you all to think about what has happened in your life and um, you know what what crazy things went down in your life over the last year or so since the start of season three let's let's use the start of season three and the end of season three as kind of like a I don't know like a like a map for our own lives and let's let's take a, a moment in this episode to to think back at at, you know our lives what we wanted to achieve a year ago what we have achieved since then and uh, you know what we could achieve over the next year or so now at the start of season three um, well I think I'm gonna go back even a little bit further than that so about two years ago um, I was working in a job and I was making YouTube videos and I took a really really risky decision uh, of quitting my real-time job to go not full-time on YouTube but to, to basically make as you know to dedicate myself to YouTube and dedicate myself to another dream and that was to make uh, a game for for, mo for mobile or more specifically for Android now 
I had been saving for many, many years to try and achieve this dream. And I was basically waiting for the correct moment in my life to be able to, to follow through with this dream. And YouTube gave me that opportunity to pursue uh, the dream that I wanted to pursue. It gave me the opportunity to actually try as hard as I could to um, achieve both, um, you know, making being a success on YouTube and making a, a game that I, which is something that I always wanted to do. And uh, you know, it was it, it was a very very risky decision that I took. I gave up um, a lot. I gave up an entire career, um, and I also obviously. Uh, spent all of my savings, all of my life savings that I that I had to basically support myself, support my dream, uh, and support my my girlfriend at the time um, that I quit the job. So when I quit that job, I'm we, I moved into a flat, and the flat that I'm currently in is the flat that I moved into, and uh, I was living here with my with my girlfriend for about a year or so um, after I I quit my job and after I started working on my game and working on YouTube. And we moved into a flat together, it was the first time that we lived together. And uh, it was, it was uh, just a, uh, an amazing, an amazing time, a, a dream of a time really. It was the best, the best times of my life, to be honest with you. It was absolutely incredible. Um, we had a, an absolutely amazing life and you know, we were, we were so, so happy with, uh, with where we were living, with the flat that we were living in. We just loved it. Like, yeah, I mean, this, the flat that, that I live in now is the flat that we lived in, uh, that we got together. And it was really, yeah, it was re a really happy time in my life. And, uh, you know, about a year ago, almost a year ago now, actually, to this day, um, this is now, what, March 20 or March 20th or so, something like that. <laughs> about a year ago, things went a bit a bit sour shall we say things things didn't really turn out uh, very well uh, in my life and in my relationship and um and we decided to to break it off and it was a, an incredibly uh, tough time for me uh, a, t a tough time for both of us actually n not just me and um it's taken a long time for me to to heal and you know i've got to be honest with you guys i'm, I'm not 100 percent healed at all in fact uh, I'm probably, you know, I'm still climbing that staircase, man, always climbing that staircase, but definitely not at the top of it yet. And, you know, I remember having a conversation with Ivan Dogovich, my very, very good friend on dogcraft.net. And, uh, you know, he told me at the time, Ren Diggity Dog, it's going to take a, it's going to take a long time for you to, to heal and, and to completely uh, get over it. And at the time I, I was like, whatever, man, I'm strong. I'll, I'll get over it quickly. And uh, Ivan Dogovich was hundred percent right, man. You know, when, when a traumatic thing goes down in your life, guys, um, uh, as much as you want it to be finished really quickly and you know as much as you want yourself to get over it as fast as possible that's it doesn't take it, it doesn't it doesn't work that way man it, it's often going to take a, a really really long time for for all of the the pain and everything to to heal um but you know the the amazing thing about uh about time <laughs> in general is that after a while you start to actually realize things that you didn't you didn't realize at the at the the time of the trauma or at the time when when things went wrong and one of the things that i realized is that my lifestyle at the time probably had quite a large effect on uh, on what went down and and the reason why our, our lives broke down and that's because um i was doing youtube full-time as i as i already mentioned and i was working on a game which meant that um suddenly my my income personally took a huge knock uh which is which is often often the case when you when you pursue a dream right you've got to accept that um you're not going to make a lot of money and you've got to you know you got to you got to do what you got to do to to get the business up and running and and you know you got to you got to go with the punches so to speak um and on top of that because there was a lot of pressure for for me to succeed with the game and with youtube because of course at the time um youtube was one it was the one of the only sources of income i had i was also um doing some freelance work at the time but at the time youtube was like the only thing that I, that was was paying our bills really um at the time my my girlfriend wasn't working she was studying so i was you know i was basically the breadwinner and uh, and youtube was my bread man and i became extremely basically obsessed uh with with youtube and with my work and you know, for those of you guys who have uh, been through relationships and, and whatnot, you know that, you know, 
relationships require a lot of work and they require a lot of dedication and, and if your attention and your dedication gets um, sucked up by something else it can often be quite detrimental to your relationship and um, you know for a long time I, I didn't want to, to blame YouTube for, for anything um, but now when I look back at it I think that the amount of time and energy that I spent um, on YouTube was um, was excessive, shall we say, and it was definitely not healthy for a relationship. And it's one of the reasons that um, that things didn't didn't work out the, the, the way that we wanted wanted them to. Of course, the other reason was uh, because I was, you know, working really, really hard on the game. So, so my focus was completely on uh, on other things. Other like I, my focus was on everything other than the most important things in life, which you know is love and happiness. And, uh, you know, no amount of money and no amount of success can ever replace those things. Um, those are the most important things. In, in, this is in my opinion. Um, those are the most important things in, in life and is, is what we should all be striving for. Um, and I think the illusion that a lot of people have is that money brings happiness. Um, and I guess to some extent it, that is true. Um, but, you know... It's it's not it, it's not necessarily always the case, and um, if you the thing is if you don't balance it correctly, if you don't balance your pursuit of your pursuit of money with your pursuit of happiness, that's where things go really really wrong. But the thing is, no one you know there's no one there to teach you how to achieve that balance, how to actually uh, manage your life so that you can achieve both of those things in your life. That's the thing, man. It's the, it's it's like a lesson that you have to learn the hard way. Uh, unfortunately and it's a lesson that I have learned and you know I am really really happy actually uh, that that what happened happened because it made me reevaluate my own life it made me reevaluate my own priorities and you know it made, it made me really understand what I want to get out of this very short time that we have on earth and um, yeah and you know and like six months ago I would never have been able to say that six months ago um, I would have been much more bitter. I would have been much more angry. I mean, there was a there was a point in my life, uh, Cyber Dogs, where I I didn't even really want to carry on, um, if I'm honest with you. And you know, there was there, there were moments where I, I I I did think about you know like what would it be like to just stop and to just give up and and you know and not have to deal with any of this anymore. But luckily those thoughts never really culminated into anything serious uh, and I managed to get through those but um, you know what helped me a lot was a lot of you guys man because a lot of you guys at the time were experiencing maybe not the same issues that I was experiencing but you were also experiencing some very serious uh, personal problems and you know I thought to myself well if I can if I can get through this then all of these cyber dogs can get through their stuff too and we can get through this together and I am definitely not alone in trying to, to, to get through all of this. And, uh, you know, and I hope that, uh, that I have been that kind of inspiration for some of you guys also, for some of you guys out there who, who actually expressed to me that you, you did want to give up and that you were contemplating um, you know, the worst and, and that you were contemplating just throwing in the towel of life and, and not carrying on. And you know, I, I'm, I'm proud to say that I have actually helped some of you guys have, um, got some emails from you guys. I've even spoken to some of you guys and emailed some of you who who were in a really really bad place. And and uh, you know we managed to get through all of this together basically. And and all of you guys I hope are, are much better now. And uh, and things are going well for you. Um, but but yeah. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. <laughs> so yeah. So about a year ago, things things didn't go too well, and and uh, things sort of broke down in my life. And. And for a, a good, I don't know, I, I, you know, when I think back to that time, it was, it's all, it's all a bit of a blur, if I'm honest with you. It, it was a, a pretty traumatic time in my life that I think I've mentally blanked. But what I do know is that um, I didn't do very much for a very long time. I, I was, I was in a hole, man. I was at the bottom of that staircase in a deep freaking hole, surrounded by demons, and I just remember spending days on end. Um, doing nothing really just doing absolutely nothing just literally not even being like mentally conscious like literally just lying in bed just being completely lifeless almost 
Um, and I think it was probably like a, a defense mechanism of my brain. My brain probably just, you know, decided to shut down. Oh my God, here we go with the stairs again, guys. Um, and it took quite a long time for me to get back on my feet mentally, so to speak. And uh, man, when I did get back onto my feet, um, you guys were there for me, man. And especially the guys on Cyberdog, uh, on uh, dogcraft.net, man, you guys were there for me. And uh, it was amazing. It was, in fact, one of the things that helped me get out of that freaking hole uh, was you guys. And I slowly got back on my feet again and started making more videos. I think there was a there was a time where I was hardly making any videos at all. I was making like one a week or something. And, you know, I, at, at the time, I knew that I had to make videos because I had to pay the rent. Uh, I had to, you know, I, I had to, yeah, I had to make money somehow um, because, you know, rent rent doesn't care about your traumas. It, rent doesn't care about your, your issues. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to make videos because I knew that if I if I made videos in that state, I would be making uh, you know absolutely awful videos. Um, so I was kind of in like a like a bit of a catch twenty two. And at the time, I you know I, I had some savings left after I had spent a lot of them um, on the game that I was developing. So I started digging into those savings to you know to pay my rent for you know for the months that I wasn't making any money uh, while I was sort of recovering. Um, and you know after a while those savings started to dry up man and and after a while i realized that um suddenly you know <laughs> i wasn't as financially secure as i thought that i was um you know I, basically um while you know while i was when i was living with my girlfriend while i was paying for for most of the stuff she was helping out obviously uh, as much as she could so there was a little bit of financial support there and as soon as that went away so suddenly i was left with with everything right i was i was left with the whole freaking bill man and uh and yeah at the time i didn't think that it was going to uh, be a problem i thought that i would be able to i would be able to be fine but it, it turned out that actually you know life is a little bit more more tough than that man <laughs> and uh and I eventually started taking on some more freelance work, as you guys know, and, um, you know, started to slowly recover, um, financially speaking, um, so to speak. Now, a year later, um, I am now moving out of my place. And the reason that I'm moving, a lot of you guys have asked, well, why are you moving, Rendigity Dog? Uh, well, the reason that I'm moving is because I simply can't afford to live here anymore. Um, that is basically the reason. And I want to be able, you know, to get financially secure again i want to be able to get to a point where i don't have to worry about debt i don't have to worry about any of that stuff and and to do that you know you got to cut down on your expenses man you got to you got to make sure that um you're only spending what you need to spend to survive right and so that's exactly what's going on here and of course youtube is helping and uh you know a lot of you guys who have donated to me uh, over the last month or so you guys don't even know how much you've helped man like uh, your donations have have gone basically towards paying for for internet have gone towards paying for the van that is going to transport all of my furniture and all of my real life loots to my new house and uh yeah it's 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 been amazing uh and you know i'm, I'm also currently working a couple of other jobs on top of youtube too so um you know th things are getting a bit better man things are getting better and as soon as i move into my new place i'll be able to start saving again but you know the the really crazy thing is is that at the start of season three i was basically starting like a new life right a a, a, a new life completely separate from the life that i had before uh, uh and a, like a much more tragic life i guess a life that I didn't really want to live, uh, a life that, you know, had a lot of like sadness in it. And now we're getting to the end of season three and, oh man, this is looking freaking sweet. <laughs> we're getting to the end of season three now and I'm starting, I'm once again, I'm starting a new life. I'm once again moving to a, a new place, uh, starting absolutely from scratch, literally. And my game is about to come out um, you know, it's really, really close now. And, you know, things are, are really looking up for me personally. And it's absolutely amazing. It, it amazes me to think that a year ago, exactly this time a year ago, I was in a pretty dark place, man. Pretty dark place. And it doesn't feel like any time has passed at all. It feels like it was freaking yesterday, man. And here we are at the end of season three and at the start of a new life for me, man. And it's just, it blows my freaking mind. You know, I was thinking about this, Cyberdogs, and, you know, it's, 
I know that there are a lot of you guys out there who are struggling in your own lives and, and who um, are dealing with things that a lot of us, you know, don't even understand, man. And, you know, I know this because a lot of you guys have written to me and a lot of you guys have, have told me about, you know, the particular things that have been going on in your life and, and how YouTube and, and my videos and, and um, this CyberDog community in general has helped you guys get through a lot of uh, crazy stuff. And I want to implore to all of you guys out there right now, all of you guys who are at the bottom of the staircase or have only taken a few steps up that, that staircase, why don't we take this opportunity right now to start again, to start new? Why don't you guys join me in a brand new journey in life? Get off your freaking butts and change whatever is making your life uh, a misery. Like, I know what it's been like, right? Because I've been there, man. I've been there where it is just, comp you feel completely and utterly useless. You feel like there's absolutely no point in doing anything at all. I've been there, man. <laughs> and here I am, a year later, building a roof on top of a freaking sweet ass fort, man. And in just a few days time, I'm moving to a brand new house. Now guys, for those of you guys who are perhaps you know, in that place, let's freaking take this opportunity to start again, man. And you know, even for those of you guys who aren't in that place, like this is an opportunity to start again in whatever you're doing in your life. If you're unhappy with your job, for example, do something about it. If you're unhappy with one of your friends, if you're unhappy with one of your brothers, with one of your sisters, do something about it. Do something about it today. Don't just sit here watching this video and, you know, think about doing something to change. Do something about it today, right now, after this video, obviously. <laughs> but this is an opportunity for us, guys. This is a, a metaphorical opportunity for us all to start again, to clean up the things in our life that we're not happy with, and to get to a point where we're going to be happy again. And, you know, I am so freaking excited about my new life that is up and coming right now. Are we going to die? No. Nope. <laughs> I, I, I literally cannot wait, man. Even though I still have a lot uh, of hurdles to get over, I still have a lot of things to deal with. Like, I still have a lot of, uh, of issues. I still have a lot of, you know, a, well, not a lot. I still have a little bit of, you know, personal stuff to get through in my mind. Um, I, you know, I have a game coming out that I need to manage. I, you know, I have to make sure that, um, all of that goes really smoothly. I've got to make sure that I can pay my taxes at the end of the year, that I can pay the rent for my new place, all of that sort of stuff, man. Even though I've got all of that on my plate, I am so freaking happy, man. I'm so content right now and so excited because a change is a coming, my friends. A change is in the air and nothing makes me a happier cyber dog than freaking change, man. Change is always, in my opinion, has always been a, a good thing in my life. Whenever I've decided to make a, a, a really big change, like good things have happened for me. For example, when I decided to leave South Africa and come to come and live in Europe, that was a huge change. And at the time, I didn't think if it was, I didn't think it was going to be a really good idea, or I was worried that it might not, you know, work out the way that I wanted it to work out. But in the end, it worked out brilliantly. And, you know, I'm so freaking happy, man. If I hadn't, if I hadn't have made that change, I would never have done this YouTube thing, man. Like that just would never have happened. I would have never have met the people that I've met in my life. I would never have met a person who would show me what the meaning of freaking love is, man. I would have never experienced and traveled and seen the things that I have seen if I hadn't made that change. And you know, I'm making a, another change in a few more days and who knows what the results of that change will be a few years down the line, man. And that is what I'm saying to you guys, even though the change may seem really scary, it may seem really daunting, you have no idea how good that change will be for you and what that change will bring you in a few years time. You can't see in the future, man, and neither can I, but what I can tell you is that the change will be a positive one and it will result in a better life for you, man. And I just, you know, I just want to implore you guys out there, man. You guys who are stuck in the hole. You guys who, who have been in that hole for a while, man. Now is the time, man. Freaking get out of that freaking hole, man. Step out of that hole. Man up and do something about it.
And you know what? I'm going to be with you every step of the way because I'm doing exactly the same thing. And uh, you will not be alone in your pursuit of change, in, in, in your pursuit of, you know, a new life a new chapter in whatever you guys are doing, man. I'm going I'm to I'm be with you every step of the way because I'm doing exactly the same thing. And uh, I think that's absolutely awesome, guys. Um, hang on. What am I doing here? There we go. <laughs> okay. Man, that was awesome. I can't believe I actually managed to uh, get that monologue out while playing Minecraft at the same time. It was a... Uh, I just wanted to talk about this today, guys. And, and um, yeah... You know, I'm 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 so excited about everything, man. That that's all I have to say, man. I'm I'm just I just cannot wait to move. I cannot wait to make my very first video from my very first uh, from my new place, telling you guys what up, what is up, cyber diggity dogs. This is Ren Dog coming at you from my new flat. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna show you my new flat uh, on on camera. That's right, man. I'm gonna show you guys my new house, the new room that I live in. And who knows, man? Maybe my my housemates play Minecraft too. Maybe they can. They can come on camera and, and show their face, but I don't know. Let, let's not count on that one, guys. Um, I don't know. K kind of like brand new housemate moves in and asks you to be in a YouTube video with them. I don't know if that's going to go down too well. <laughs> um, but anyway, oh, oh man, I trapped myself up in here. But anyway, guys, I've done quite a lot over here, actually. This has been a pretty productive video. Uh, pretty sweet. We are about to finish off this little room over here, uh, which is epic. And uh, then we're just going to work on this one. And that's going to be the, the last room in the Silkum Gang Island Fort complete. And one of these rooms has to be a box room. And one of these rooms has to be a battle room, too. Oh, and we also need a like a like a, a bunk bed area, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we need a, a place for all of the, the gang members to sleep. So we need to have like a, I don't know, <laughs> like, how would you describe it? Like a, like a barracks, I guess? Yeah, it's like a barracks. <laughs> so um, I still need to make that, guys. But um, I still have a ridiculous amount of packing to do. Um, I've literally just finished packing for about an hour now. And I've literally just finished carting about three or four huge sacks full, full of rubbish to the recycling facilities here near near my house. Um, and it's been crazy, man. Um, I was saying to the cyber dogs on dogcraft.net last night, you don't actually realize how much junk you accumulate in your life until you have to move. And um, yeah, that is certainly true with me, man. I can't believe I have all of this rubbish. Uh, you know what I found today, guys, when I was packing? I found a motherboard from a computer that I bought about, I don't know, it must have been about <laughs> five years ago, I guess. Yeah, at least, like like a five-year-old computer. And for some reason, I decided to keep that freaking motherboard. I think I thought uh, I was going to sell it or something. Uh, the irony is that motherboard is actually broken. It doesn't work at all. So for, for no reason whatsoever, I freaking keep, kept that motherboard with me. Um, I don't know, completely ridiculous, really. Uh, but yeah, I've also found a ridiculous amount of stuff. I, I, I discovered about, and I'm not kidding, about 20 um power adapters you know like adapters that change your plugs um settings from us to, to europe settings I, I literally found like 20 of them uh, i have no idea why i have so many freaking plug adapters guys am i am i freaking cray cray man like what is wrong with me um <laughs> i mean it's just ridiculous I, I should just i should just not have that amount of of plug changes but for some reason i do but anyway man it's been awesome it's been like a it's been like, I don't know, it's, it's been amazing. Thro I've been, just been throwing away a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want anymore and that I don't need anymore. And uh, it's been great. I've been loving it, man. So much fun. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, it's been a, a nice contemplative episode and I've got a lot to think about at the moment. And I think I'm going to go for a walk and you know, just think about what we spoke about today. And, and yeah, again, guys, I just want to encourage all of you guys who are perhaps uh, stuck in, in a hole, you know, Start taking steps to get out of that hole, man, and join me on this journey of newness, these new beginnings, man. Let's let's get a whole bunch of new beginnings going on all over this freaking planet. And uh, it doesn't matter how insignificant your new beginning is, as long as it's a new beginning, I'll be a happy freaking cyber dog. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. It's been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends!